Hey everybody, Mark with the Flatwoods Bee Farm. Um, in this video, we uh, showing how we use resources from a uh, from a dead out. Um, one of the little clips in the video, uh, I was trying to show how I cleaned the edges of the in bars, but uh, since I'm a one man video on the machine, you couldn't see that in the uh, video. So uh, what, what I was actually trying to show is the top edges of the uh, end bars, clean that um, propolis off of those so that uh, the bee space stays good. But uh, you can't see it. I didn't know you could, couldn't see it, but uh, that's what I was doing. So I hope you enjoy the video and learn a little something. If you enjoy the videos, like and subscribe to the, to the YouTube channel. We sure would appreciate it. And share it. Alright, y'all have a great day. I know I am. Okay, everybody. This is Mark with Flatwoods Bee Farm. We, uh... It's February 3rd here in Locust, North Carolina. And uh, it's 56 degrees, calling for um, 70s just about all week. Um, had a colony out here that uh, I thought was a dead out, and it was. Went and uh, inspected it, found the queen dead on the uh, bottom board. I'll try to figure out how to post a picture of her in the uh, video, but <clears throat> she was a small queen two things probably happen either they uh, tried to supersede her during the winter and quit feeding her because she was in that way that'll make them get small obvious for obvious reasons because they're not being fed or uh, she quit laying for some reason um, because bees sometimes when they're not I mean uh, queens sometimes when they're not actively laying eggs they'll shrink um, that's one reason why I don't believe believe in queen banks uh yeah they'll shrink but anyway out of that uh dead out obviously they didn't starve or freeze uh no bees in the uh, uh they're head first in the cells that's a sure sign of starvation um but anyway had a, it was a two deep box um top deep completely full of capped well capped sugar syrup because i fed them real heavy um first of October last year. So they definitely didn't starve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that deep, um, it's got all that capped sugar syrup, and put it on this colony, which actually this queen in this colony is a daughter of the of out of the colony that died. Um, let's see, it was a walk away split I did January, February, March, April, May, May the 14th, 2018. Um, so, they're looking real good. So what we're going to do is we're going to, they need, uh, I looked at them yesterday, they needed uh, more uh, sugar, dry sugar, because I do uh, what they call mountain camp feeding uh, from December on. Um, so instead of giving them more dry sugar, I'm just going to give them that whole um, deep box of capped, uh, capped sugar syrup. So let's see what we got. A little overcast, temperature's good, but a little overcast, so I imagine these, these girls are not going to be glad to see me, even though, let me show you what they're doing down here. Uh, I can do this, let's see, don't get dizzy. They're flying real good. A lot of pollen coming in, red maples uh, starting to bloom the tops of the trees here in Locust, North Carolina. We're about 35 miles east of Charlotte. So, so we're getting we're getting good pollen right now. Let me get this set back up. Sorry, I'm, I got the winter blues. Got out of practice on video and stuff. But anyway, let's open this thing up. See what we got. Got 
got good population. I'm gonna take, um, let me see what we look like here on the camera. All right, I'm gonna take this, uh, take this box off so you can see the, how many bees is in here before I smoke them. I'll probably pay the price. It's a good thing I'm doing this on a Sunday. Maybe they'll forgive me. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can do this without getting them all wound up. As you can see, you can see what's left of the newspaper. I put newspaper down um, on the top bars and then pour the, the dry sugar on top of that. That's how you do mountain camp. Set that over there to the side. Check my camera. So. That's the last little bit of uh, the sugar that I gave them. So that good population, they look good. If I'm making y'all dizzy, forgive me. <laughs> oh well. All right, now let's smoke them a little bit. Tell you what, I just can't stand it. Got to pull a frame. <laughs> Your beekeepers can't stand it. Let's see what we got. A lot of nectar. Let's check the middle. Try to get the rest of this paper off. Make sure Queenie's not on that. Oh, they're not happy. Of course I wouldn't be happy either. A big old burly looking thing like me could come barging in. Let's try to check this center frame. I just want to see what kind of brood I got. I got it sealed up pretty good. So, right now, like I said, it's February 3rd. We're setting at 20% loss for the, for the winter. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that. That's good. The uh, for the hives that I've lost lost some late summer, early fall to a uh, small hive beetle. Look at that. I hope that's in the camera. Looks good. Brood pollen just like it should be. I'm just going to pull this one. So. so. Anyway. That makes me happy, happy, happy. Put this back together. Got to be real careful doing this, man. This time of year, if you screw up and crush your queen, you sealed the fate for that colony. No drones. No drones yet. Too early for that. All right, let's give them a little bit more smoke. There's little uh, balls of pollen laying here on top. That's interesting. They hadn't put them in the frames yet. Let me check my camera. I don't even know if y'all can see what I'm talking about. Let me move it down just a little bit. So, 
All right. All right, so let's put this, <clears throat> let's put these resources from the dead out on here. Get on your corner straight. All right, let me show you what the other colony left. Let's just pull one here in the middle. A lot of capped. Well, I, <laughs> I hate to call it honey. It's not honey. It's sugar syrup from Domino's sugar over in Charlotte. But anyway, so they didn't starve. And uh, let me just while I got this open, let me tell you something else I did while uh, I got uh, while I had this box off. I took all the frames out of it. And uh, let me adjust the camera a little bit more. Took the frames out of it. Clean my frame rest. You know, they build up. Uh, my bees love propolis. So I cleaned the frame rest up. Got all that propolis out so I can move the frames good. And I, every time I do that, <clears throat> when there's no bees on a frame, right here along these edges I'll clean clean them off now you don't want to scrape them down to where you start getting wood because then you're changing your bee space but I clean these uh, these edges off get that propolis because you know they'll seal that sh they'll seal that up too that way I can uh, better maintain my bee space and it not collect there and my bee space get wider so anyway we're gonna let them let them go through this I'm not gonna put any more dry sugar on them and uh, now this thing is uh, three deeps high and what will happen typically around the uh, third week of February and of course you know this is dependent on the weather I'll start reversing hives and uh, what will what'll happen is this bottom box probably by that point will be empty and I'll just take it away and then uh, the, 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 the colony we live in the box I just added and the one that we were just going through showing brew. So let's put this back together. Wow. And the way I do it on the uh, inner covers, put the, you know, there's a, there's a deep side and a shallow side. Right this time of year, I put the deep side down, put the, uh, the notch to the back. Okay. Notch to the back. And when I put my lid back on here, I pull the lid tight against the front. That way my vent hole in the back is open. Okay? All right. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Just uh, using resources from a dead out. Um, so, you know, we hate to lose bees, but it happens. And there's not much you can do about it. But you need to uh, use the resources that they left behind. Resources like the comb. Man, get smoked out over here. Whew. Uh, resources like the cap, cap stores. And of course, the number one resource, pulled comb. So, hope y'all having a great day. I know I am.